Since skiing with Blake a month ago, I have spent the past few weeks living the same routine. Seasonal work in the mountains, drive to the valley for warmth, film video, edit video, weekly chores, back to the mountains. Routine makes life easier. Our brain and body work on autopilot, improving productivity and organization. But as the popular saying goes, too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. While I've enjoyed the change of pace from my typical road life routine, I've missed some of the spontaneity that makes living on the road so exciting and special. I've become so engrossed in my routine that I've forgotten to live. It's become challenging to break from the norm that I've created for myself the past few weeks. But as I was reminded in this video, sometimes the best thing that we can do for ourselves is to challenge our status quo. Hello. Hello? Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Not too much. I'm just sitting at the Planet Fitness parking lot. What are you up to? Uh, I am sitting in the Bash's parking lot because I was on a, uh, I don't know, a rat race around the city trying to find Chick-fil-A sauce, but nobody has it, so we're going to have to use salsa in the morning. That sounds great to me. Yeah, glad you're easy with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, where, are you, where are you thinking about camping? Um, honestly, I'm down for wherever we find a spot because you know how it is finding spots down here late. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you want to uh, camp on top of that butte? Where you camped? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've been that far. Uh, I'll send you a pen uh, in a second here. I'll take it off the phone with you. Yeah, that sounds great. It's basically like straight okay. past one intersection then like a slight left and then another slight left and then it like is on that hill that sounds good to me all right sounds good i'll see you in a little bit then all right sounds good awesome thanks right, josh bye, -bye. bye not gonna lie i'm a little tired tonight <sighs> wake up grace all right we're going It's 7.06 right now. Oh, Josh just dropped me the pin. How far away is this place? Directions not available at this time. Cool. We'll find out. We're gonna guess. Josh has been trying to track down Chick-fil-A sauce. And I believe he is checking in Sedona or has checked in Sedona. But I am in Cottonwood, so I'm going to do a little searching of my own and see if I can't find some Chick-fil-A sauce. He makes some breakfast burritos that are pretty incredible, and one of the main ingredients is Chick-fil-A sauce, so gotta have the sauce. Let's go see if we can find it. Who knew there could be so many sauce options? Oh, I'm not seeing it. Looky here. Josh is going to be so excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Unlike Costco, I managed to acquire just what I needed. Right now, I can't 
the best spot up here is taken, so I'm not trying to find a secondary spot. They're all fairly cramped. It's difficult to get level on, so I'm kind of just venturing back down towards the um, towards the main air. Oh, jeez. Oh, um, I have good news, though. What's that? I acquired some Chick-fil-A sauce. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. You are a legend. <laughs> you are a, a legend in the So... Now we got the, the secret. Oh, I found, I found what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this road is like ridiculously rutted. So where did you end up? Did I lose you? Oh no. Nice. Yep, there we go. You're getting real close. Okay, will I see you? I'm like yeah. passing a ditch right now, but I'm flying right here. Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, I think, I, wait, am I level? Nope, I'm on a roll. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. There you are. Hello. So pull up there and then you can pull in. You don't have okay. to drive over the cactus. We'll get this buggy turned around. The best part is that we're still on the phone and we're like right here. It's like an, it's echo. Like an echo, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I'm gonna end this call. All right. did it first, just then. Hey! <laughs> Made it to camp. In my tire and ah! <laughs> my poor car! <laughs> I just opened the door and all I heard was scratch. There, there's cactus on my driver's side, so I need to go out my passenger side so I don't scratch my car up. Oh no, something flying. There we go. That's impressive. What? got that door open from that side? Heck yeah! You don't have that much crap piled up over there that you can't Oh! Oh, you know I do! I can too. You know it. I'm like, climbing over the top. Okay. You know, I'm getting a couple inches here. Oh no, I can't even see you. It's dark. It's dark. I have lights though. Look at you, prepared. Does it stick to your car? What? And they're also motion sensing. Perfect. What? Thank you. Of course. It is the exchange of gifts after all. Oh, is it really? Oh, the Chick-fil-A <laughs> sauce. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on. Come on. This is gonna just, oh, oh, oh. Fire. Ta-da. Are you a fan of country music? I am. I kind of figured. I don't know why. Do you like country music? Okay. I haven't been locking my, my uh, cap a whole lot lately. I have to like do some weird contortion out the door and then like reach my hand around this and be like somewhere right in there. <laughs> and it's just kind of a pain. Are you standing by the fire for warmth? No, why would I do that? I have acquired a chair. What? Acquired a chair. I mean, it's it's like sitting in the in a uh, a mini hammock. That's the way I'd describe it. Yeah. Or a rocking chair. If you, <laughs> if you really try them. <laughs> I mean, it works. It, it even has the rocking chair squeak going for it. <laughs> no, actually, I can't. Oh, wait. There There's the, is that the little dipper or the big dipper? Where? Right there. Uh, I don't think that's either of the different. Lovely. <laughs> medium dipper if that exists. <laughs> that looks so cool. I used to have horses too. Really? Yeah. What's your long-ish term plan then? Things would be changing somewhat by the week. At some point, I would like to do guiding in Alaska. I really like Arizona during winter. You can't really beat this. No. This was pretty hard to beat. Like you went skiing today as crappy as it might have been. You went skiing today and you are sitting in 50, the desert right now and 50 it's degrees. warm. Yeah, well, we Ish. might have a little bit of different definitions of warm. <laughs> this isn't super warm to me. I didn't even really, <laughs> I didn't connect that one until you said that. <laughs>
morning. hit me this morning so I was just like writing down a bunch of ideas for that it was productive at least I was laying in bed watching the sunrise I guess I was being productive I yeah, see you're still hard on yourself All right, little droney, you're gonna have to do something else. <laughs> this is, we had enough of that. You're a busy bee, huh? <laughs> Crack them eggs. Wow. You got subtle branding in the background too. Oh yes. Overlanded. <laughs> I, I did that intentionally so that anytime there was ever a picture or video of that drawer, it would, it would be a plug. I don't really know, but one day, or one day about two years ago, my dad taught this to me and Ever since then, I've never eaten an egg without a little bit of milk in them. I hope you're not lactose intolerant. Nope. Seven okay. people now. Look at that. Hi. Uh, hello, folks. Welcome. Welcome to our live. Hi, uh, guys. We're making breakfast burritos in the middle of the desert right now. We meaning Josh. Josh is making breakfast burritos. Grace is providing am, moral support. I am getting in the way of things. You yeah. settle with that. <laughs> You're putting the desert first, you're using, you're using subconscious strategies. <laughs> See, that's, he's right. Taos is both. Taos is for sure both. I've never been to Taos. I think. Need a level surface somewhere. This is so good. Oh. Oh. No, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> we'll worry about that later. <laughs> Keep kind of burning these, but, um. That's, that is not burnt. Okay, fair enough. That perspective, right? Ah. He ate. I mildly overcooked the eggs too because I couldn't find something to put them on. Uh, to the Josh, you have outdone yourself. Burritos. These look absolutely incredible. I'm hoping so. Uh, okay, so we got um, we got eggs. We got uh, two of the yolks removed for every six eggs that you put in, and then. Yeah, bacon, pre-cooked bacon, because uh, not pre-cooked bacon is extremely difficult to clean up after out here. Um, and then you also got uh, hash browns. Uh, this time I used a different type of hash brown. I use shredded hash browns. Typically I use hash brown patties. I think that the hash brown patties are a little bit more like greasy. And we got shredded Mexican cheese. Uh, and the most important ingredient, Chick-fil-A sauce. And then it turns into basically Chick-fil-A breakfast burrito. This is the way that I've been making breakfast burritos. Look at that. I'm so excited about this. Fold. Get the hang of it. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. What? Almost. Close. Very close. Close? Close. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but which ingredient is cold? Mmm. I don't know. Really can't tell, it's, honestly. Mm -mm. It's just good. <laughs> I think it's the cheese that I put is on there. there? Prime, these um, tortillas are really good too. They're super flat. That's that's like the key to getting mm -hmm. good tortillas is getting the ones that are like super, super pressed. Mm-hmm. How did this happen? Oh, this looks so, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I might honestly eat these eggs though. It was protected all I don't, the, I don't, all the good stuff. All I don't there. know about that. What? I don't, I don't know about that. I mean, like you, you could, but that's... 
Mm. I'm so sad. I'm like the, the sadness. I was literally just like, okay, it's burrito time. <laughs> it's time. I've waited. I can make you another one. All this stuff uh, is still out. 